Hello, I'm Aki Exotica, and welcome back to Seed Sunday. This is the Sometimes Willy series around on my channel, where I show Minecraft console seeds which are particularly interesting and worth checking out in some way. And today I wanted to talk about a seed which I found particularly interesting because it was linked to me on the Discord by a user who said that it was meant to be a floating pirate ship, and sometimes apparently that does happen, you will find a floating ship, but even without it, it's one of the craziest seeds because it has so much of the iceberg biome. The iceberg biome is meant to be really small in Minecraft console, especially with small biomes turned on, but even with small biomes, you get a huge iceberg biome next to spawn uh, and because presumably of the biome size and the fact that it counts as lots of different iceberg biomes you'll also get four ocean ruins near spawn and six on the map in total as well as two shipwrecks as well as a random witch hut which is in the ocean for some weird reason and a woolen mansion entirely surrounded by ocean it's just weird stuff on all sides and i wanted to talk about uh you know the whole seed and show you it uh, bit by bit so i hope you all do enjoy the video like if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot. let's know you do like seed sunday let's get straight into talking about the seed because again if you type in this big seed number right here with a classic world if you're on ps4 and with small biomes no matter what your platform you'll spawn right over here on a plane surrounded by a forest or maybe by a forest surrounded by planes but you'll spawn next to two forests and also next to a big old iceberg biome Seriously, look at the size of this thing. It's huge, it's beautiful, and uh, if you like icebergs, it's great. Uh, and even if you don't like icebergs, I mean, seeing this much of it is stunning at the very least. Again, when Minecraft console has such a limited world size, they try to minimize the size of any uh, you know individual iceberg biome. This is about the average size of one with one or two big icebergs and that kind of bit. However, this seems like it's lots of tiny iceberg biomes that just kind of merge together to make one huge one. Seriously, the size of this for a small biome world is kind of cool, and then it has like another weird just single iceberg over here then there's another weird one over there but the best bit is the fact that there's ocean ruins all over the place too so there's an ocean ruin found just over here as you can see we got ourselves a nice little ruin go in there find yourself some treasure chest maybe it provides just next maybe it provides more that's for you to find out there's also ravines there's also all the other good things but the crazy thing is there's a second ocean ruin found just over here again like not too far away maybe like 40 blocks there is another ocean ruin and this one is huge as opposed to the tiny single building as you can see lots of different you know stuff going on here kind of cool if you ask me but then as well as having a big ocean room with lots of buildings you can see just how many there are when you start to look around uh what is that like five or six separate buildings then we also have what to me is one of the weirdest ocean ruins i've ever seen because it is an ocean ruin combined with an iceberg there is an ocean ruin mixed in to the iceberg itself which means if you want to like get the stuff you have to break through ice which i guess is mildly annoying but still ocean ruin in an iceberg it looks crazy it looks bizarre but it is a naturally spawning uh thing you'll find in minecraft right now also the gravel goes away a bit which is kind of a bummer but still have you ever wanted to see an iceberg covered in gravel no 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 one has but still that's a thing you can find right here also in case you are a console player that plays a lot of bedrock which i know is a lot of you on my channel because obviously they make a lot of bedrock videos here too uh because you know bedrock edition is the uh, edition which has the most focus but uh regardless of that i wanted to talk about the fact that on bedrock you'll never find icebergs which look which look especially like this kind of what i like to call like wall icebergs as you can see it's a wall of iceberg presumably it's designed to fit in these smaller minecraft console worlds but it's really really strange that we'll see these all over the world again there's no ice around them it's just a wall off uh, iceberg and again we'll see stuff like that everywhere so yeah pretty wacky that spawn area alone we've only gone one direction and we found all of that blue ice all of those icebergs all of that frozen ocean biome and also uh we found ourselves free ocean ruin sets already so that's rather nice and nice set of uh, treasure maps you can find and treasure itself indeed but if we just head a little bit further to the uh, west you'll find a really interesting uh, place to set down because there is a mushroom biome found right here with a little bit of beach on it, which is kind of weird by itself, a little bit of swamp on it, also kind of weird, and then also a huge swamp attached to it as well. This is a, you know, mushroom biomes were meant to be islands, but as Minecraft has progressed, it's gone closer and closer to not really being uh, islands in the slightest, and this is one of the biggest examples of that. But even if you don't care about mushroom biomes, uh, mushroom islands not being islands in the slightest, one thing you might care about is the fact that they're surrounded uh, by, uh, you know, ocean ruins. So again, if we go over to here and we head towards the kind of like, uh, I guess, further, further to the west, you'll find uh, two interesting things. The first thing you'll find is going to be a ocean ruin, as you can see. It's a pretty big one. It's a big building here connected to another one. I, I find these to be uh, some of the more interesting ones, personally, because it's just, again, they're, they're big, they're huge, and they can contain rare things, or wheat. I mean, it depends on <laughs> uh, your luck, really. But then as well as that, we've got another ocean ruin building over there, because they're kind of, it's the same one, but it's just kind of spread out over multiple places. Always cool to see this many different things to loot. Uh, one over here as well. And then, interestingly enough, next to that, there is a mob spawner. Yeah, that's right. All of those things together for the fourth ocean ruin in one seed. 
and then there's a mob spawner next to it too. I love this craziness. This is awful. And then you can also see from down here, the chest. I didn't even know you could. <laughs> the cave next to this allows you. Okay, so we're going to break a gravel. It's going to make a lot of things fall. We should have to get that uh, gravel block broken. And then you can get into that chest from underneath it too, which is kind of wacky and crazy actually. That, that, is, that makes the seed even better. But yeah, as you can see, uh, it's a cave. It's a, sorry, it's a, uh, it's a spawner. Really cool thing. You can even pick them up now if you're in creative. And uh, that is a thing you'll find in uh, this area of the seed. Again, check the left side if you want to see coordinates. That is absolutely absurd seeing so many of these things and then seeing it combined with a spider spawner which um, you know takes things to the next level so what we, so what we can talk about some land for a bit because although there's a lot of oceans in this uh, ocean in the sea some of it isn't really worth checking out like if we're being honest this part right here you probably don't want to go here unless you really want more kelp because you run out for some reason let's be honest this is just like a, well there's kelp here and there's ocean here whatever but if we head to the north a little bit you'll find yourself a mesa biome and this mesa biome is weird and unique for being so small seriously the size of this mesa biome it's this one miniature mountain right here and then it's done and then there's another mesa biome that's this tiny double miniature mountain and then that's done and then there's another one and then there's another like fourth one over here again world generation has gone super small it was super strange but it's even weirder when you combine in all the other stuff that goes on down here and i just want to kind of uh, have a little mention that mesa biomes are pretty darn weird uh yo so with that said let's now head back towards the mission biome because heading to the north of the uh, the mission biome will lead even more interesting results. In case you don't want to go to the mob spawner because you have to go below ground, you have to do a whole thing. You might want to come to this. Uh, you might want to come to the uh, the the thing over here because you'll find uh, rather interestingly. I always uh, miss it because it's a single building. There is a fifth ocean ruin. So again, entirely separate to everything else. Has its own chest. Has its own buried treasure map if you want to find some treasure and maybe you want to find some treasure over there or maybe you don't you're cool i can't actually see it on the screen right now but <laughs> uh, that is a thing you can actually find rather cool if you ask me uh, and also if we head to the north here there is a river so you can even do this on a boat that will lead you to this right here it is a, a, a witch hut that is found in the ocean technically speaking it's like, you know, you can see like why it spawned there. There's a swamp nearby and it tried to spawn in the swamp, but it ended up spawning entirely in the ocean. So there's an ocean, which I, it's just kind of weird. This this witch must feel pretty darn lonely Hello. right now. Like, oh, uh, I I was I heard it was beachfront property and now I'm trapped up here Hello. forever. Uh, but I, I still find it kind of funny. There's just a really lonely little swamp hut found in the middle of nowhere. Then also, uh, while we're talking about great things, we have this right here. So I'm gonna drink another nitrogen potion, and I'm gonna show you the fact that this is a shipwreck, uh, a half shipwreck, but still, it's, it's some free stuff you can go get. Another shipwreck map, perhaps. Another set of loot. Amazing stuff, just in general, to find so easily. And uh, it's also a good source of acacia trees, which maybe that's, maybe that's your favorite thing in the world. But even if it's not your favorite thing in the world, let's head to the far north, because there's even more to come yet. So if we head to the far north right here, you'll find, uh, you know, again, this woodland mansion, which, this is probably one of the most standout things on the seed because it's now surrounded by ocean biome because, you know, technically uh, speaking, it converted from uh, kind of like just being a lake to being an ocean. It's the weirdest thing that on all sounds, this is uh, all, all sides, this is pretty much surrounded by a moat. Admittedly, there's a couple of bits where like it goes over some land, but very easily, if you wanted to, you could make a wooden mansion surrounded by a moat and that'd be such a cool, maybe weird survival project I think you could embark upon if you want to go back to the wooden mansion and see that lonely creeper right there. Uh, you can do that by going to this place right here. Also, it's next to an iceberg biome, which is always a beautiful thing. Always a weird kind of thing, if you ask me to, but still, another iceberg biome. This is the average size of one, by the way, in case you're curious, and this is another one of those iceberg walls that seems to exist on console, whether intentionally or whether not. It's rather cool, it's rather interesting, and it's one of the parts of this seed. So, yeah, with that said, this is uh, the other uh, weird thing I'd like to point out because we have one last thing that I find amazing. On top of having all the things we've said so far, so it's a witch's hut, it's five ocean ruins. Uh, you know, there's a sixth one, but I haven't found it. But uh, there's five ocean ruins, there's a, a previous shipwreck, there's all these other things. There's also a pretty much fully made ship right here. So as you can see, the ship is only damaged in the masts, which is presumably why it's sunk. There's probably a couple of holes or something too, uh, but it's sunk in, its, uh, in, in a really weird place on this ravine. So again, it kind of looks like it'd be the perfect place to drain it and then make it sink fine again or something like that uh, or you could just repair it and then like I guess somehow make it have an air bubble whatever you want to do it's still got the access to the same loop that you normally get it still has a really weird thing where you can go underneath it and I just find this to be 
quite a bizarre thing. So yeah, basically, this is a great Minecraft seed for the oceans, because the oceans are just filled with non-stop, uh, you know, ocean-filled loot, which given that they're not as common as they perhaps would you would assume on console, it's great to see so many of these different buildings spawning all over the place, all of, in, in, within biomes across Minecraft console. The, the land itself, by the way, is pretty solid too, like it has some stuff you might find interesting, uh, but it's mostly, you know, obviously Update Quotic just came out, that's what I'm focusing on, and this seed really destroys now. Oh, and there's one more thing, uh, on the way to the ocean biome from spawn, so let me just show you the fact that on the way from spawn directly to the ocean biome, literally it's a hundred blocks away, you'll find this rather interesting gap between the swamp and between, I guess, the rest of the swamp, and in that little gap there is a ravine. Uh, however, in the ravine there is a second ravine, and in that second ravine there is some magma, and that magma can bring you down surprising distances. Again, it's, it's actually quite a risk if you can't get it up in time, but that magma will bring you down surprisingly long distances, and it will take you to this place right here. And, oh god, okay. it's super dark down here because water and drink. But still, this is Y11, which means it's diamond layers. You can look around for diamonds if you want to. You can even look in like different ravines which are connected. I think this is uh, something you're going to want a water bring potion for because obviously without one, you're going to get more than a little bit confused. But it's still just a really bizarre uh, experience to have. Also, technically speaking, there shouldn't be magma in here because there's no surface we can see. But I guess the game doesn't care about that. It's just, <laughs> it's just a sea of bubbles and it looks beautiful, by the way. I'd like to just uh, take a, a moment to recognize that. So, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed today's Seed Sunday. Let me know what you think. Do you like the, the focusing on the oceans because of the update? Uh, that, that's something I'd like to know. Obviously, the big thing about Minecraft console is seeing, overcoming the limitations and seeing what you can do. That's why I think most people agree with and like right here. And having a seed which gives so many fun challenges for you to potentially embark upon, while also just being a solid seed if you want to base yourself on land, is something that uh, was uh, something I liked a lot, basically. And I wanted to just say, solid seed. If you have any you want to send, please do uh, do that. And uh, if you're a Minecraft console player, this will, uh, a Minecraft 360 player, or PS3, or PS Vita, or Wii U, this seed will last for the rest of time, which sounds like almost depressing in its own way, but it's also kind of cool. Like, this seed will always be this good, regardless of how long you go, if you're playing on a 360, a PS3, a Wii U, or whatever else. So I guess that's nice, maybe? Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, and I guess I'll see you all in another one. Goodbye.